Kristen Stewart has another passion project, and it's got her hitting the carpet in unique fashion. Yeah, her big night out was also caused for another reunion with, you know who? Let's cue the fan frenzy. The Glimpsy Glam. It's really never something that you get used to. The Fandemonium. Twilight is a really phenomenal thing, right? And the after party with her man. It's crazy. It was a whirlwind weekend for Kristen Stewart. Amid promoting Breaking Down Part 2, the actress hit the red carpet for her other movie, On the Road, at the AFI premiere in Hollywood. Christina Guerrero got to assess the case to mania. How are you keeping your movie straight at this point? It's so weird that it all coincided. Yeah. Today's a huge day for me. It's the last day of the L.A. press junket, which is for, for Twilight. It's weird. As soon as that weight is lifted, you go, God, can I have a little bit back? <laughs> <laughs> On the road. Uh, it's a departure from, I think, what a lot of fans have seen you. Did it feel good kind of letting your hair down? Yes, it did. I think anybody that's, that's read the book and really taken to it, it's not always easy to do. I think that when I read it for the first time, I was so young. It changed me for the rest of my life. Also there were Kristen's co-stars, Garrett Hedlund. She's fantastic in the film. And mom of one, Amy Adams, who made it a date night with her fiancé. You're paying for a babysitter. You know, you might as well have a good time. <laughs> Kristen didn't have B.F. Rob Pattinson by her side at the premiere, but the on-again couple did hit up the Roosevelt Hotel after party together. Kristen chatted with Amy Adams while Rob was making the rounds with other folks. But a bit after midnight, Robson found some one-on-one -on -one time. Our inside source says the two looked happy and playful and even danced. As for PDA, Case Du was seen patting Rob's chest a few times and rubbing his head. At one point, Rob whispered in Kristen's ear and put his arm around her. And joining us now in studio, Rob and Kristen's Breaking Down Part 2 co-star, Kellen Lutz, everybody. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live studio audience, no big deal. Hey, Kellen, I know you've been talking Twilight for days and days and days, but as you reflect, what do you think you'll miss the absolute most? <laughs> well, there's a lot. I mean, really stepping back after watching the last movie, it's it's a whole experience. You get to work with the best cast. I mean, we, we've grown together, and you get to really see everyone mature. But we're fun off camera. Like, we all get to hang out. And then you have amazing directors to work with, and the fans make it so amazing. But I love my character the most. Yeah. You've been a part of the Twilight Press machine for years. I'm kind of curious. Yeah. What is the one question you are just tired of answering? Honestly, the, the one that still kills me that I'm asked is, do I know Rob? And it's like, I feel like they think he is either CGI, <laughs> like he's that perfect of a person. He has perfect hair, perfect voice, everything's perfect about him, that he can't be real. So I just feel like that because they ask me and I sit there and I'm just like, but do you know him, Kelly? Yeah. Do you know Rob? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I, I, I have the privilege of working with him for the last I can understand fans asking that, but just telling his journalists asking that? Yeah.